The biggest thing, because of how we understand the walk of faith, um, you look for the preaching of God's Word. The preaching of God's Word precedes everything good. and the, It's God's Word that created the world. It's God's Word that brings life. And so if I had to identify one thing, it's going to be faithful, biblical, gospel-rich sermons that direct people's attention to what God says and not what the pastor thinks. Um, that'd be one thing. A, a second thing would I, you know, would be community. Church is supposed to be a family that you belong to, not an event that you attend on the weekend. And so, uh, you know, our discipleship really happens by being in a community where not just where we hear sermons, but where people can see into our lives and speak into our lives. And so it's got to be a place that helps you foster that community, a place where you, I mean, I don't want to make it so trivial that like you just like the people and you get along, but a place that you can really you know, connect and go deep with. I think the third thing, and one that's often overlooked, is a place that um, mobilizes and engages your spiritual ministry gifts. You should feel like your gifts are, are exponentially more useful because of the community that you belong to than you would, um, uh, than you would if you were by yourself. Uh, so those would be the top three things that I would look for. Um, obviously, you know, I, I think convictions matter about church. I'm a, I'm a Baptist by conviction, and I think things like believers' baptism matter. And so um, in the first place when I go to a church, I'm going to look for a church that um, is Baptist or at least you know, uh, has Baptist convictions about those things. But um, most important is the preaching of God's Word, the centrality of the gospel, the, um, the community, and the uh, um, commitment to see its members raised up and use their ministry gifts in the world.